Hey there, this is René for GNS 3V and in this video I'd like to show you how to solve the spanning tree loop guard lab. So in this topology I got three switches, they're connected in a triangle, so we got a layer 2 loop here. Spanning tree will of course block an interface, so it will stop our uh, loop, or it will create a loop free topology. And the idea behind loop guard is um, imagine if you have a fiber link, you got two different connectors. There's a transmit connector and a receive connector. And it's possible that one of those connectors will fail, so you have a unidirectional link failure. And it's possible that as soon as you're not receiving BPDUs anymore, that an interface is going into forwarding mode, and which it is not supposed to. And it's possible that you end up with a loop. So loop guard um, can be configured, and normally you would do this on fiber links, that if you um, no longer receive BPDUs on an alternate port, then it will be blocked. And the default behavior is that a alternate port will go into forwarding mode if you are not receiving BPDUs anymore. So let me just show you how to configure loop guard, and I'll show you what it exactly uh, does. And it will make a bit more sense, I think. First of all, I need to configure switch 1, so it will become the root bridge for VLAN 1. So let's get started. Um, spanning tree, VLAN 1. I'm going to set the priority to a very low value. And to speed things up a bit, I'm going to configure a rapid spanning tree. Otherwise it will take a time uh, to converge because of the timers on the ports. So let's use rapid spanning tree. Uh, the next step, make sure that the fast Ethernet 16 interface on switch 3 becomes an alternate port. So let's take a look at switch number 3 over here. And right now I only see interface 14. So let's check it out, maybe it's in shutdown or something. I should see interface 16 here. And it says that it's down at the moment. And that's because there's a shutdown command over here. So no shut. So switch one is the root. I can see two interfaces in forwarding on switch one. That's what we are looking for. Um, I can see two interfaces on switch number two. And so I should see two interfaces on switch number three over here. And it still says that this interface is in learning mode. So let's wait. Okay, now you can see it's in forwarding mode. Okay, uh, there's one more thing I need to do, because it says over here that the fast Ethernet 16 interface on switch number 3 should be the alternate port. And right now, you can see that um, the fast Ethernet 16 interface on switch 2 is the alternate port. So what I'll do to change it is change the priority a bit on switch number 2. Now you can see it's different. So right now fast internet 16 is now the alternate port on switch number 3. And that's because the priority on switch 2 is better than the priority from switch number 3. So that's what I was looking for. And the next task it says configure the fast internet 16 interface. So it does not send or receive any BPDUs. This will cause a loop. So um, what I can do, because I, I do not have any fiber links, so, uh, I only got fast ethernet links on the copper, but what I can do is enable BPDU filter for example, and BPDU filter will make sure that I'm not sending any 
uh, BPDU's anymore. Uh, it will not send or, or receive them. So what we'll do is enable the BPDU filter on switch 2. So go to the interface. First of all I'll need to enable port fast. And the next step is to enable the BPDU filter. So BPDU filter enable. And we'll wait a bit to see if anything will happen. So you can see there's a difference here. Right now the fast Ethernet 16 interface, it says role designated, it's still in blocking. Now it's in learning mode. And now it says designated forwarding. So on switch 3 I got two interfaces that are in forwarding mode. And switch 2 has two interfaces that are in forwarding mode. And switch 1 also has three, uh, sorry, two interfaces that are in forwarding mode. So right now if you receive a broadcast frame um, or a frame with a destination MAC address that your switches do not know about, it will be forwarded and you have a loop. So that's a problem and you don't want to see loops on your network. So what I'm going to do is configure our network so uh, we can detect a loop like this. And basically what will happen is uh, if we're not receiving a BPDU anymore on an alternate port, then the port will be blocked. Instead of going into forwarding like uh, what it is doing right now. So that's what we'll do. And first of all I'm going to get rid of the BPDU filter. So a spanning tree is working as it uh, should be. So switch to, let's go to the interface. Let's get rid of the BPDU filter. You can see that the interface on switch number 3 is back into blocking mode. So that's what it should be. And now I'll configure loop guard on all of my switches. And there are two methods of doing this. You can do it uh, globally with the spanning tree loop guard default command. That's the fastest way of doing it. You can also do it on the interface level. So right now spanning tree loop guard has been enabled. You can see that this interface is still in blocking mode. And what I'll do now is Enable the BPDU filter again, so switch number 3 is no longer receiving BPDUs anymore on its alternate port. And we should see a difference uh, now. There we go. So you can see this. Spanning tree loop guard block. Loop guard blocking port fast Ethernet 16 on VLAN 1. And it's blocking this interface because it is no longer receiving any BPDUs. There we go. And you can see it says designated, but it's being blocked because of um, loop guard. And I think that's the last task for this lab. Yep, that's it. So that's spanning tree loop guard. Keep in mind, normally this is something you will only do for fiber links because it's possible that your transmit connector is still working but you're not receiving BPDUs anymore and loop guard will stop loops because if, it's, if it does not receive any BPDUs anymore on an alternate port then it will block the interface and that's it I hope you uh, enjoyed this video thanks for watching and till next time